with the finals on that particular invitational. Well, the Flyers moving to basketball now have been consistent over the last couple weeks, although maybe not to Kurt, Coach Kurt Gottemiller's standard. Win a league game, lose a non-league game. Hosting Minster in the hangar tonight would suggest the Flyers get the W. The Wildcats have won four of five and have only one league blemish on their record. This game will be shown in its entirety tonight on WLSN, but highlights are coming up if you can't wait quite that long. Nice perspective by our crew there at the hangar. Mr. taking on Marion Local and Bruns would get it started early. Nice pull up jumper from the charity stripe there for him. How about some Sam Hulsman action? Just calmly strolls up and knocks down the triple. More from Hulsman and Bruns here. How about now? Hulsman is going to get the pass. Nice give and go there and gets it to fall. Hulsman with another bucket. Minster trying to get the offense going. You see a 7 0 start for the Flyers, but nice reverse there by Jared Schulze. Nice feed from Cody Frerichs and some more Minster action. Mike Kettner with the drive, trying to put down and does. Minster come from behind tonight with the win, 45-42 over Marion Local. And again, this game airing at uh, 10.30 tonight here on WOSN. The Trojans are coming off a statement week with wins over previous track unbeaten Lima Senior and WBL leader Ottawa Glandorf. Now they host Toledo St. John's, who would certainly like to pull off the upset. And they're getting very excited with a home game for the Trojans. And then Peyton Moyer gets us started, up and in for two. He makes twos in traffic all day long. Now it's Isaiah Moore. Gets a pass off the glass and gets two for him. Now it's Ryan Roth dropping back and hitting the trifecta from behind the arc. And he was very, very hyped for that game. Now it's Moyer up again and in for two. And there was certainly a packed house for the Trojans. Let's go to our final score, our boards. Toledo St. John's would end up pulling off the win 64-56, final overtime. So a nail-biter right there at the end.